Hello, my name is Rob Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share something with you. Let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine just batching being buried alive. You're in a coffin, but you know you're not dead. You don't know how to get out of that coffin. You try lifting a lid, but the enormous weight upon the lid prevents you from opening the lid. You then try to bang on the lid, so hopefully unsettle the dirt. Maybe somebody might dig their way down towards you. This is what it's like to be at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help. You know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know where to turn. In reality, there are people standing by your grave. You just don't know that. You just think you're going to die. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind while you're abusing drugs and alcohol that you might just take your life away by overdosing? And if you don't care about your life, what about the people that do care? People like your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, husband, wife, your children, even your grandchildren. With this, let me leave one last thought. Don't be like the person that I just spoke about that went to their grave without seeking help. Instead, pick up the phone and call me at 844-405-HELP, and I promise I'll help you take your life back for your life is gone. Folks, 10 ways to make your life better starting today. The world is full of opportunities, but sometimes too much thinking can get in the way. Changing your life for the better is about picking a destination and taking one step at a time to get there. If you try to take shortcuts, you may actually end up making your journey longer and more complicated. Getting serious about making improvements is a great start and that should be done today and taking action is the next most important step that you can make. Then let's talk about the 10 tips that I'm going to give you here on the Take Your Life Back Today show to start improving your life. Be grateful for what you have, not what you don't have. Don't don't be upset what you don't have, but be very grateful for what you do have. When you stop to remember what you have instead of worrying about what you are not getting or what you don't have, it changes your perspective for the better. Start your day the night before. The most successful people I know end up end their work day of making a list for the following day of what needs to be done. This allows the subconscious to work on things while you sleep. Be ready to grow up. Adults have the ability to learn to delay gratification, but we also have a choice as we as to how to behave when things don't go our way. If you remember to take the high road, you'll end up on the road to success. Drop the attitude. If you think the world owes you a living, you might want to, uh, I don't know, take a self-inventory of your position in life. It is quite possible that by feeling entitled, you are pushing away things and people you might love. Don't ignore your emotions, my friends. But remember that feelings aren't facts. Emotions need to be honored. They don't have to be justified, but just because you have a feeling doesn't mean that you are always going to be right. Watch out for the negative thinking. Sometimes we get into negative feedback loops and uh, don't even know it. If thoughts of being helpless and maybe even hopeless continue to enter your mind, you might just need to take a nap or perhaps talk with someone who can help you like a counselor, therapist, or a uh, psychologist. Set up and stick to a routine each and every day. We are creatures of habit, and good habits such as getting regular exercise make us feel better. Maintaining a good habit also helps us feel that we have some, I don't know, some control over our lives. So maybe if you just start doing that, you'll find to be a better way to live. Folks, you need to drop your resentments. You need to drop them. We all have them whether they are towards our parents, maybe partners, or even our peers. Resentments take up too much, uh, I don't know, uh, psychic space to allow us to function properly in life. By choosing to drop them, you will make your life much lighter. You will take the weight uh, of the world off your shoulders. But the hardest part is making the decision to let your resentments go. Know who you really are. And learn to honor yourself. We all fake it from time to time and once in a while. This can be a good thing. But never compromise your personal values and always strive to be the best of who you can and are. Enjoy a part of each and every day. Look for those little bright moments that happen all the time. Uh, but that we often fail to maybe even recognize. I mean, they're all around us. Make a point of seeing some good in every day and you will change 
your life. Folks, these are the 10 tips on how to make your life a better life starting today. And, and then I want to just briefly go over them one more time, but you have to remember, folks, that uh, these 10 tips will definitely help improve your life. You have to absolutely, tip number one is to be grateful. Be grateful for what you do have and stop having resentment in what you don't have. Let go of that. Start your day the night before. A lot of people, uh, working people, especially before they go to bed, they make a list of what needs to be done the next day. And this allows you uh, to have a subconscious to, to work on things while you sleep. You might even dream. You have to be ready to grow up. Adults have the ability to learn and delay gratification, but we also have a choice in how to behave when things don't go our way. So we need to learn to grow up. And number four is we have to drop the attitude. If you think the world owes you a living, you might want to take a whole self-inventory of your position in life because the world doesn't owe you a living. You owe the world to be the best that you are. Don't ignore your emotions, but remember feelings aren't facts. So if you start getting emotions, sometimes the best way to get uh, um, through them is to uh, analyze where is it coming from and, and just deal with it and let it go. Watch out for negative thinking. And we all run around uh, past or have people in our lives that are, uh, what's the saying, negative Nancys. Well, stop the negative thinking yourself. Watch for the negative thinking. Sometimes we get into negative feedback loops and don't even know it. If thoughts are being helpless and hopeless, continue to enter your mind. You might want to just take a nap or perhaps talk to a professional. You have to start setting up and sticking to a routine. A routine is very important. If you notice when I do the show, it's usually dark in the background. is because I do these sometimes between 2.30 and 4 o'clock in the morning. That is my routine. That's what you need to start working on. You need to drop your resentments. We all have them, whether uh, it might be towards our parents, could be partners or even peers. Resentments take up too much space to allow us to function properly. By choosing to drop them, you will make your life much lighter and much better. And know who you really are. Look in the mirror and, and say, who am I, Ralph? Learn to honor yourself. Learn to love yourself. Because when you honor and love yourself, it's very easy to do that to other people in your life. Enjoy, enjoy every part of every day. Look for those little bright moments that happen around us all the time that we just walk past and fail to recognize. Make a point of seeing them in good and every day and you will change your life. These are the 10 tips and I hope you utilize all 10 of them. If you need a hard copy of this, you can call me at 844-405-HELP or you can email me at ralf at takeyourlifebacktodayshow.com Ralph at takeyourlifebacktodayshow.com and I hope to God you all have a great day and may God bless you.